guys, welcome back for day eight of Vlogmas. Uh, it is actually a really gorgeous day outside today. It is bright, it is sunny, it is actually almost a little too warm outside, but whatever, <laughs> we'll work with it. Uh, we have another big event tonight at work, so I decided to take a late morning this morning, which I work all the time, so <laughs> it's not actually time off. Um, so, I figured we'd start with advent calendars this morning and advent knitting. First things first. So my last two days, I was convinced that they had accidentally flip-flopped the cards because this color makes so much more sense for Pisces. And this color makes so much more sense. Sorry, it got messy in my bag. Uh, makes so much more sense for Aries, right? Fish, ram, like, hello. That's like, it totally makes sense. Aquamarine in, in water lily. Thistle and diamonds. What was the other flower? I can't remember at this point. I have to look it back up. It was thistle and something. And it makes sense. But I went online and I looked at like their little shop that they have set up. Um, you have to have the link and then there's a password to get into it. But you can buy more of the different colors and the different like little gifts and stuff if you want more. But they have it listed as this being Aries and this being Pisces. So I guess they were right. Still doesn't make any sense, but I will trust the artist, <laughs> trust the process, and it's all fine. There's still really pretty colors though. But I'm so excited because I'm almost ready to work with this one. This is my favorite one so far because, let me pull it up. So the sections right now are pretty small, so I still have plenty of yarn left, but I finished the next section of my granny, four granny shawl, and I actually switched it up a little bit. So down here, there are garter stripes. Okay. You guys know I added the I-cord edge. That was not in the pattern. But then the next section was supposed to be seed stitch, which really seed stitch would look more like that. It's a little bit bumpier. Um, and it's a little bit more stretchy as well. But I just wasn't feeling knit pearl, knit pearl, knit pearl. <sighs> so instead, I did linen stitch. And I love the way it came out because you go from having this like really, and it's not really bumpy, but bumpy like garter ridges to this really dense, flat, smooth linen stitch. And I just love the contrast. I think I'm actually gonna do the next section in stocking it stitch, just do like all knits on the front. Um, I think that'll look really nice because then it'll kind of alternate stretchiness. So then that way it's not because because the way the slip stitches work, this is not nearly as stretchy as like garter or regular stock in it. So I think alternating it will still give it me the right size and give me a little bit more texture difference. So really excited about that. I just have to go back and count one more time just to double check to make sure I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm all finished with this section. Um, because of the way the advent works or the way the, um, what's it called? The pattern works, it calls Yes. Yes. It actually calls for six minis of color. Um, so I think I'm going to have to reuse this on the other side of the scarf. So it's not going to go away. It'll probably come back. I think I'm pretty sure that's the way it works out. So anyway, that is that. And then, like I said, the next color is going to be that, which I think will be fun. So let's go ahead and set that aside. Um, configure where I put my boxes. Day eight of hedgehog fibers. Well, that's electric. I thought we were moving away from these neon colors, but it looks like we are back again. I actually kind of like this one. I'm not a huge like neon person and I actually don't use any neon dyes in my dyeing. I'm not saying I never will, just don't right now. But that is actually kind of cool. I like that it's got blue and that like electric yellow green lime. I don't even know what you'd call that. But then it's like alternated with more pastel-y areas. That's really fun. It's got all kinds of like fun little speckles and colors in it. That's, oh, that's a bright color. But anyways, I think it's really pretty. I actually kind of like that one. So that's Hedgehog Fibers Day 8. Then going back to Magpie. I'm actually, I'm hoping it, I don't think it sounds like yarn, 
Um, but that might be wishful thinking. It's not wishful thinking because the employee card just fell out. <laughs> so I know it's not yarn. Um, but I'm hoping to catch up on some of my colors eventually. Like I know this is going to be mostly like January knitting and that's fine with me. But you know. So let's go ahead and open it before we look at our employee. It's not as substantial as the candle. But definitely something bigger than the stitch markers. Okay we have a jar. Singular jar. Mm -hmm. It is Sweet Cream Original Body Cream Organic for Dry to Normal Skin. Mm -hmm. Works best after shower or bath. It's got cocoa butter, aloe, vitamin E, essential oil, sweet almond oil, cocoa butter. Looks like that. Cute little jar. Let's see what it smells like. It is a plastic jar though. It'd be nicer if it was glass, but that's okay. It's okay. It has been sealed for my protection. Sealed so. Oh. Kind of smells like suntan lotion. It's okay. Smells like what I would expect lotion to smell like. So this is from Kiki, uh, who is a Leo and the studio manager. Yeah. Can't stand the dry hands. So we've got some lotion. Let's go ahead and I just took a shower. You can tell my hair's still wet. So technically, it's after a shower or bath, right? Right? I always get like right there is where I get really dry. Mm -hmm. not bad it's usable I don't think I would buy it with this scent again though I don't know just maybe it just smells like coconut and I'm not a big and coconut reminds me of like suntan lotion but it does make your hands really soft though and it's not oily so I'll have to tell you about I found another hand lotion I really liked I don't know what bag it's in. Oh, I do know what bag it's in. It's in downstairs. One day I'll tell you about my other hand cream I found that I really liked. Um, it's also a small businessy, so we'll do that one day. Anyways, Magpie Fibers today. A little bit of hand cream. Pop that back on. That'll be nice for all the work I have to do this morning. So with the next, am I talk about that yet? No, I'm gonna go wind my hedgehog fibers and then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next. Let's, let's do that. Wowza, that is even brighter in cake form than it was in hang form. So that is crazy. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that back in the box and we'll put it back in the advent calendar for when we are ready for it. So just a couple of days away from second Sundays. Um, and actually tomorrow is another big event at work. So I'm just gonna have, have any time to work on anything. I was gonna do a couple more rounds of dyeing and I haven't completely crossed it off the list yet. I should have done so much more. Just, there's just not enough time. Um, but I don't want to waste time doing that and risk it not drying in time. So I figure I should probably just concentrate on the crochet portion um, and get as much done as I can. So I'm going to start. I've got a giant box of yarn over here that I'm going to put away in my new Ikea furniture. It's probably not going to live exactly that way forever, but that'll just give me a nice fresh desktop to kind of organize and work off of. And I think that'll help me get organized. So let's go ahead and start with putting the yarn away, getting the top of this cabinet cleared off and we'll pull yarn for our next project. Oh, I spilled it guys. I'll have to tell you guys about this later. This is like my new favorite hat. How? I'm not even like a beanie person. I look terrible in beanies, but I love, 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 love this hat. But I'll tell you about this another day, okay?
So I can never get away from work, even when I try. So I've got the top cleared off, got my advent knitting down at the other end, got a nice face to work. And I came over and looked at my phone after I, I was hitting like the, the stop record button. And I've got somebody, two people, two people who are sick for one program tonight. So trying to figure out how I'm gonna cover shifts there. And then I've got a Zoom meeting in like eight minutes at this point it was 15 minutes when the uh, alert popped up and then as I was hitting record just now an email popped up from my old job just leave me alone I want one morning how many days off a week do you guys get I just want one I don't even need two I just want one I want half can I just have half I just want half a day off how do you, for the comments below, how do you balance craft markets, like prepping for craft markets? How do you balance preparing for the holiday season? How do you fit in all the stuff you need to do around work? Real-time question. I need some advice. Leave it in the comments below. All right. So before I go deal with all of that crud, I want to show you what I'm working on. Looks like a little Charlie Brown sweater, but it's not. It's a, it's a bee. Look at him. He's so cute. I didn't want to do the bees that go like this way. Cause like everybody does those. And that's like, so yesterday. So this little guy, he sits up like this and his little eyeballs are going to go right there. He's got little antennas and he's going to have wings on the back. How cute is he? So bees are the first thing on the list that I made last night for priority for today. I want to make four of these guys. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this one, at least his body. And then I'll do the bodies for the other two. Other three. I can't even math at this point. The other three. And then I'll do wings for everybody. And then I might sew them all together depending on my mood. Or I might put them in my pile of unfinished projects. Because tomorrow is going to be finisher up mode. And actually... I think the uh, stitch marker fell out of this, so I don't know where I actually was. I do know where I was because it was a color change row, so I, can, I have to go. Okay. I'm going to go to my work meeting now and check my email and try to figure out if all our programs are happening tonight. And then I'm going to make some bees. All right, so it's... 12.03 right now, so noon in three minutes. I just finished an hour long webinar and during that time I finished the bee I was working on that I showed you before and I made him another little friend and I started on a third one. So that's coming along swimmingly. Uh, it's actually, it took me a little bit longer than planned because I started him and I'm like, yeah, it doesn't feel quite right. And then I realized I was using the four millimeter hook that was sitting up next to the yarn instead of the six millimeter. And I'm like, ha ha, that's the reason. So I had to tear it all out. But uh, in my hour long meeting, I had to attend a uh, virtual meeting on my morning off. I received three text messages, 10 emails, and then an ask if I can come in to work early. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I am going to cry. So what I'm going to do is change the laundry. I was washing my sheets so they'd be all fresh for tonight. Um, I'm going to change those into the dryer, put on some colonial clothes, probably. Maybe I'll wear regular clothes. I don't know. I don't even know if I have clean clothes. So I'm going to go find something to wear. And then I'm going to pack up like a little kit. I'm going to bring more yarn. I need a really big bag. I don't even bring. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> it's got to be something here big enough that I can carry a bunch of yarn into the office. And then that gives me, I have no more than 30 minutes to get out of the house. Every minute between now and that 30 minute mark is one less minute to eat. Because once I get to work, there's no way I'm going to be able to leave the office. <sighs> good thing I didn't dye any yarn because it'd be on the stove and not ready to go. So, all right, I'm gonna go pack my bag, get dressed and get on the road. Woo! Yay. All right, guys, welcome back to the office. It's about 8.30. Um, not as late as I thought it would be, but 
We checked in on the Yule Log, went down and uh, looked in at one of our trial programs and our Revolutionary Points of View program. Everything was going just fine down there. Came back and looked at our haunted folks and everything's going swimmingly. So I think I can finish recording and then maybe go home. It's not gonna be the long night that I thought it was going to be. Second Sundays got canceled. Not for the dramatic reasons I talked about a couple days ago, or a day ago, I can't even remember, it's all blurring together at this point, but because there's a 91% chance of thunderstorms right during the market window, and they're predicting 10 to 20 mile an hour winds with like 34 mile an hour gusts. So it's just not gonna be safe. So we'll get our money back, uh, but no market. So that kind of stinks. But what I'm gonna do is probably continue some market prep, um, maybe on Sunday or Monday, whatever day the general store is closed. And I'll send them an email uh, letting them know what new materials I'm gonna put in. And then I'll bring all my stuff for the general store. So it'll be fine. We'll get there in the end. Oh my gosh. But it was a super pretty night here tonight. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll put in some footage that I took walking down the street. It's just, it's gorgeous here. And probably my, my favorite thing, I'll try to, I don't know if the video looked any good. Um, so I was trying not to be like that person who like films other people in public. I hate that. But there are these three super cute girls. I don't know if they were college age or if they were like high school girls who were just like wandering around town or something but they were clearly filming a TikTok video and they had like props their phone up against like the, like a hitching post or something. And they're all like doing like a synchronized dance in the middle of the street. It was super cute. So I'll see if the footage is any good. And if it is, I'll stick it in. But what I got done at work today, um, I'm always thinking that I can get tons of like crochet done while I'm sitting on my computer. But shockingly, when I'm at work, I do work. And so I never get a, 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 as much chance to actually work on a project as I think I'm going to, um, which is fine because that's not what I'm here for. But I got this little guy done. So let's, can I get him to lock? Oh, no, I lost my lighting. Oh, there we go. I don't know. It won't, it won't look at two things at one time, but you can see my little bee. And then I worked on, I didn't quite get it finished, but here's the start of another one. So that'll be my total of four once they're all finished. And then I also got a chance to work on my Hedgehog Fibers Advent. This is the Adventina and it's not going to want to focus. Yeah, look at that. Um, nope, go back. Focus. You can see I moved my stitch marker up, so I only got a little bit done. Um, but as I was working on it, I was counting and I think I'm actually at the end of the section. They said it was supposed to take three minis to complete, but I think I'm at the end and I'm only on mini number two. So I have to go back and reread the pattern to see what I'm supposed to do at this point. But that's how that's coming along. Anything else? I think that's about it. So I was worried about having to like do an all nighter working on market prep, but it's a moot point because there's no more market. Sad, but that's okay. It'll be fine. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.